Hello brothers and sisters, it's me again Peter and today is Monday. Today brothers and sisters, I want to share something that came to my attention. Have you noticed when you're trying to tell someone or try to explain to someone that we are living in the last days, they will say no, 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 that cannot be. I know Jesus is coming but he's not coming in our generation. He can't come in our generation. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Actually not funny but sad. But what if he does come in your generation? What are you going to do about it? What if, he, what if he does come? But the thing is, you have to know the signs. The signs we are given in the Old Testament and in the New Testament concerning the second coming of the Lord and concerning the last days. You have to understand the signs. And, and actually, if you know the signs, you will know that this is the like this is the generation we shall see the coming like the, the second coming of the Lord. And how do I know this? Well, the prophet Daniel, the angel of the Lord told the prophet Daniel that in the last days knowledge will increase. Like knowledge will increase more than any other time before. And the time we are living right now, the technology we possess right now. There's no other generation since Adam that have possessed the technology we have right now. You see, starting the 1900s, going back all the way back to Adam, men used to travel using beasts and uh, like beasts, like donkeys, you know, horses, camels, but right now, it's cars, airplane, we have internet, we have phones, we have everything. You know, like men's, te like men's knowledge has increased like more than any other time in history. Just as the, the, like, just as the angel told Daniel, knowledge will increase in the last days. Has it not? The things we are seeing right now, no other generation has seen it. We are the only generation to see it. We were told in the last days Israel will have to be reestablished as a nation. And it will be mightier. Have we seen that happen? Has it not happened in our generation? Something that looked almost impossible, but in a day, Israel became a nation, just as the prophet Isaiah foretold, and Ezekiel. Who has ever had such a thing? Can a nation be born in one day? And yet Israel was born in one day. Israel became a nation. After it was destroyed in 70 AD by the Romans, and the Jewish people were scattered all over the face of the earth. But right now they are coming home. And the nation of Israel has, uh, like, has been reestablished again. And the prophet says, the prophet foretold, this will happen in the last days. So do you still think this is not the generation? Well, Jesus said, when you see these things begin to happen, lift up your heads because your redemption draws nigh. Jesus foretold, like Jerusalem will be under the hands of the Gentiles until the Gentiles, the time of the Gentiles come to an end. Did it not come to an end in 1967? In the Sixth Day War, Jerusalem was, recaptur was recaptured and became like, it went under the hands of the Jewish people again for the first time since 2000 years ago. Was it not foretold? That's Matthew 24, Signs of the End Times. So the question you should be asking yourself is, are you ready for the second coming of the Lord? Because we are living in the last days, because we are the only generation to see it happen. The only generation to see it happen. And the enemies of Israel, the aggressors of Israel mentioned in the book of Ezekiel, Iran, Russia, have we not seen them like swearing to wipe Israel off the face of the earth? trying to, to threaten Israel. 
we are seeing all these things. Are we not seeing the world coming against Israel like it was foretold? This small nation. But the whole world is like focused on it. They want to divide it. This is the, the prophet Joel foretold. That the Lord would like he will gather all the nations and judge them because they divided up his land and scattered his people. All these events will happen in the last days. We are in the last days. <laughs> My friend, if you do not know if you do not know Jesus Christ or if you're not saved, I beg you to repent and ask Lord for forgiveness. Accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Call upon Him today because the end is coming. The end is coming. The end is coming. So, Repent and call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon Him when He's near, while He's near. Believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead. Confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and enthrone Christ in your hearts and start. Change your life, change your ways and start living a righteous life for Christ. Because time is running out. This is what, this is just one of the few prophecies I just mentioned. I'll make in the future, God willing, I'll make more videos about other prophecies which have been fulfilled in our generation and are continuing to be fulfilled in our generation. So God bless you all, and um, may the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be in you all. Shalom.